Hey guys, I wanted to make this video about importing into Lightroom um, because a lot of people get confused about the import process in Lightroom and while I will always maintain that importing from the library module in Lightroom is the best way to do it, I acknowledge that the import dialog box in regards to importing from a camera card is unnecessarily confusing. So. If you're used to dragging your images from your camera card into a folder on your computer, be it Mac or Windows, then this video is for you because this is probably going to be the easiest way for you to import your photos into Lightroom. For now, once you get a little bit more comfortable with Lightroom, I urge you to check out using the import dialog box from within Lightroom itself because it's just better. Here we go. So I've inserted my camera card. Here it is on my desktop. Obviously I'm on a Mac, but it'd be very similar with Windows. And inside this camera card is a folder called 100 Canon. And inside that are five images. I want to copy these over to my hard drive. So here's my uh, hard drive called Photos. Inside of it is a folder called Lightroom underscore Photos. This is my master photos folder for Lightroom. The golden rule for Lightroom to make your life as easy as possible in the library module is to have all your photos in one folder. Now you can organize them into as many subfolders as you want. As you can see over here, I have, I have a lot of folders, but they're all in one master folder. That's really the thing you should always do. Okay. So what I'm going to do is create a folder inside Lightroom photos. And to do that on the Mac, I'm just going to go up to File, New Folder, and I'm going to name it eBay Printer because I'm selling a printer on eBay. Here's the folder. So I'm simply going to drag these five images from the camera card into this folder called eBay Printer. And they're being copied over. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so that's probably the way you're used to doing it and that's fine. Now let's go to Lightroom. I'm going to hit import and now all I have to do is simply find that folder on my photos drive and if I look for Lightroom photos open that up and then scroll down until I find eBay printer. There it is. If I click on that there are my five photos. Now I'm going to select add. Okay. It's important that you just simply select add and then down in metadata settings. I'm going to make sure that my metadata file is selected. Um, if you don't know what that is, don't worry about it. It's not that big a deal. I could add keywords here, but I'm not going to. And that's pretty much it. Lightroom sees the folder that I created and all I have to do now is click import. When I do that, and I go to uh, in the library module here the f images are coming in. Um, don't get confused by this because what you're looking at is previous import Lightroom defaults to that and it, it confuses the hell out of people who are new to Lightroom. All that means is it's showing you the latest import. But down here in the folder section if I find that same folder called eBay printer there are the five photos. Now the last thing, um, the file names for these five photos are really kind of ridiculous. Down here you can see it says IMG underscore 9905.cr2. That name means nothing to me. So I'm going to select all of these photos by going under edit, select all, or I could go command A on the Mac, control A on the PC. Now I've selected all five images and then under the library menu, rename photos. So I'm going to rename them printer. I've already done that actually. Here's the word name printer and then sequence number custom name sequence. You have a bunch of options of how to name your images. I'm choosing custom name sequence. Then typing in the custom text printer start number. I'm going to hit OK. Now the photographs have been renamed. So that's pretty much it. So if you're used to copying or dragging images from your camera card into a folder that you create to get your images onto your computer, then this would be the easiest way for you to import them into Lightroom. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one.